official opening of the Nether Portal. <laughs> Don't walk in the fire. Yeah. He's made it unsafe to walk. For but everybody. I mean, he made it unsafe to exist here, so. Ah! Look at all of the, look at all of the, like, ash and stuff as well. I think I managed to get through that without getting burnt. I tied. Alright. Look at that You're for a ready? bad boy. Look at that. Let's just appreciate Can this I, for five seconds. And it's like a little circular, like, weird boy. I like it. Nice. Good job, Z. Alright, thank you. I spent like an hour building this. <laughs> yeah, I, I just need a shirt, it's cold. I just found out something. If you right click someone's backpack, you can actually steal stuff. <gasps> what? What? Yeah. Did no oh my god, you I, can. You can. I stole Marv's boat. <gasps> That's awesome. They it, like, hey, what? it wasn't me, it was the hoe, I tell you. <laughs> it was the, it was the side home of danger. Do you right click on their backpack? Or... Yeah, right click. Yeah. Right -click. Right -click. Oh. Yeah. Huh. That's okay, funny. It's, it's becoming night. Should we, yeah, uh... so wait, should we get let's, through the let's portal? Go. Let's go. Let's go. Squibbly time. Wee. This is where we all fall off into lava, right? Yeah. Let's see. Wee. No. It, oh my. Uh oh, Want that's never good when you. Oh, it's one of the crimson fly things. Okay, so we we are in a part salsa and part red. Yeah, this is I'm uh. not. I've seen worse. I have seen worse. That's um. Don't forget to get your waypoint over here, peeps, before you go off. Huh? Also, I don't know if your return yeah. scroll will work. So come get your waystone. Oh, you have waste. Oh. oh, you can use them here too. Hell's it. Yeah. Hell's it. I like it, right? Okay, which way are we all going? Uh, 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 yeah, what do that, I, what do I so want first? This will allow your uh, uh, return scrolls to teleport you here. Uh, I don't oh, like what is the red this? Forest. I don't like the red forest. Wait, you found something interesting? Bro. Oh, oh is, is this, like, this is like the under like belly thingy. They They spike you. Just, yeah. you know, just to be extra. Spiky. Just to be extra. Burning blossom. Oh yeah, don't stand on that. It's it'll set you on fire. <laughs> it will set Sounds you on fire better. quite regularly. Okay, so. Oh, oh my go? god, we've got this in here, guys, guys, guys. Uh. I only know about this because of the yeah. the modded game I played. No. Um. We've got explosive. Where are you? We've got explosive bamboo. I'm near the I'm near the the spikes still. Oh. We have explosive bamboo in here. Is it these? Is it does it look black with like little red dots on the top? Yes. Yeah, collect plant. collect some. Collect some, it's funny. <laughs> 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 yep. Awesome. <laughs> I only know about that because I've done like a a, a nether like start. Where Okay. And um, uh, yeah, it was it's it's vicious. I don't know where Icky is. That's no, I, mean... I have no idea. Oh my god, that's like there's like ghosts just hanging yeah, around the... here. It's the uh, <laughs> Which way did spirit. you go? Re... We're still near the portal. I ah! Yeah, we Crimson, went Crimson. Uh... No. Oh my god. Like that was terrible. Uh... Yeah. Ow, ow. Oh my god. Yeah, we are at the go portal. Back. Go back to the portal. Hi. Oh, yeah. I was going this way in the red stuff. Ah. Yeah. Did uh, did Aras the jeeps? <laughs> no, he's still oh, here. I think amazing. he's just gone to go find yes, his just... his things. No, I, I was. Uh, I'm actually gathering through the roof. Uh, Mal found a oh. Mal found a, 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 a these these mosquitoes. I don't like them. Oh, and now yeah, I can, no. and now I can hear it. Oh, there's a gust somewhere. God. Yay! Yay! All right, hang on. Okay, where did y'all go? In various I, different directions. Uh, I am close, close to spawn still. Oh, Killing so some I... baby skeletons. I'm in the red stuff, close to spawn. Is a cowboy coming? Cowboy. 
tillbaka en liten demo med. Jo. Ja. Give me a sapling. Give me a sapling. Yes! I think I got a sapling. Yes, I did! Hell Park sapling. Yay! Fairly certain you can use a hell box sapling to get like lava. Gold, gold. Wait, we have a bastion literally right here. I don't know. What? I had a pig. I had a pig. No, I that's pig. that. Yeah, that's a bastion. What? What? Did you go up into the soul sand area? Yeah, just I am close to the soul sand area, but I did hear a gas, and I need him dead. Yeah, it's uh, something. Oh yeah, I can see a rath. I found a rath. Hello, it's something here. Look oh here. yeah. That does look like a bastion, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, I guess when in Rome, right? Do we go in at the? Oh, I can see a blast, uh, like a blazy thingy in there. Oh, I should have brought some blaze burners. I should. We should have brought some blaze burners so we could trap the, the little mites. Yeah, that's. That is so. Out of my. Uh... My thoughts. Wait, do we use this soul right. soil to make blue fire? Yep. Uh, you if you can you can ignite soul sand or soul soil with the flint and steel to make blue oh, fire. Oh dear. Shit, there were a lot of them. Very nice. But I want this Ow. goddamn gas. I don't know if the I don't know if that's gonna turn it off, but let's. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, I'm shit. so dead. Goodness me. Should we uh, eat this uh, spawner? Ah. No. Uh, if it is a blaze spawner, then no. One of them's a blaze no, spawner, one of them's a hog. Yeah, one of them is a hoggling spawner. Uh, we could just... Uh, wait. Wait. Um, Does that work? Does that turn it we... off? If we use the... Do we have some more of that? Uh, I've got some like cracked ones and whatnot. No, 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 not those. Uh, oh, the wall want the, ones. the wall. Uh, yeah. I'm not I wonder if this... uh, I wonder I don't know if these will work. Wait, did he so still be... Did he still spawn? Even though we put, like, candles and stuff on it. Yeah, I don't think that works on these. No. Are you in... Are you in the building? Yes. Okay. I don't know if that'll work, but we'll we can see. Yep. I'm on my way. Maybe they don't have enough space to spawn now. I don't know. I don't know, but hey, we have a blaze blaze burn. Oh, um. <laughs> well, he 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 figured it out. Yeah, I think they're too big to <laughs> be kept in that little space. So, ah, uh, whatever. Eh. How do we go up? Dig. Yeah, pretty much. Uh -huh. Did we get any? Oh, there's the ghost up there, is he? Holy! F These fucker hurts. The piglin brute hurts. Yeah, maybe don't lick them. I found the gold mine. Literally, ah! like, 21 blocks of gold. Oh, I'm on fire again. And There's a pig, a pig, a pigling brute with 120 health. Oh, uh, he has yeah. no... And he had strength too, so he'd probably just one tap you Ooh, at that point. Yeah. Let's see if I can go up this way, maybe. I, mean, I do need to get soul soil. Oh, ah, love the instant mine of, of Netherrack. Um, something shot at me, and I'm not sure what. Oh, the pig one. Okay. Brutes are brutes are a menace. I'm just warning you. They're an extreme Ow. menace. Ow! Something shot. Oh, okay, I can see yeah. him now. Hi. Hello. Oh. 
I'm on five. Yay! Okay, come here. Got him. Where's this? Oh, I got him. Oh, dear. Oh my goodness, okay, this is like not any kind of bastion I've ever seen. No, I don't think this This is not a bastion. Yeah, be, uh, be very careful here, you don't want to fall down. No, thinking, yeah. there's like holes everywhere. But I found nether quartz. Nether quartz yeah. is good. Don't mind if oh, I man. do. There's a tad bit too many um, piglins for my liking. <laughs> well, you know what to do. You have a sword in hand. I have a sword. In... I have a sword in hand. I have a scythe. Also, ancient debris. Let's go. Well, already. Nice. Oh my God. Wait, this 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 tower continues to like, huh? Yeah, it's not just a tower. It's like bunch of bunch of places. As a bastion. Whoa. Uh, yeah, and still be. <laughs> that some of them will drop you down all the way, all some the way down into lava. Do da yep. do da. Uh, do da do da do da. I heard the ghost shoot. I don't know where the ghost is. Ah, uh, I would know where the ghost is. I found a big fire lizard thingy. Oh, Eat did him. you find the leviathan? Probably. I'm you can gonna... ride those. I just want this lava real quick, so Yeah, technically me. technically speaking you can ride those, you can you can tame them and like put a seat on them and, and actually ride them across the lava. Cause you know, fun. Uh, That's Alex's trap. mobs. Perhaps we should give it an honest attempt. I keep hearing things shoot and I'm like oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see you. Hi. Hi. That is. This is. Ooh. Well, that is. Uh, that is definitely the Nether open. Hello beans, hello, hello. You catch me in the middle of making a slightly better farm than that one over there. So we've got some linear sassies here. We're going to attach a uh, windmill bearing right here. Uh, let's chuck something in the middle. I think I was going to put that there. And then probably because that needs to attach to this like that. Hopefully that'll work. Hopefully. Although I think it attaches to the bottom bit, although mm, that's probably fine, right? Right, 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 cool. And then we're going to attach some windmill thingies on it, potentially. So, if we... Because you need eight, if I remember rightly. Do Three. And then awkwardly you stick out in the wrong way. It got dark! Someone sleep! And up. I might attach another one here just so it looks even because I hate it when it doesn't look even. Um, let's remove that. The gravel literally is just there to. Uh... Okay, cool. That starts. That starts. That works. The gravel is just here to tell me how wide I can make my make my farm. Potentially. Uh, let's quickly tell Z to sleep, if he can. Hopefully he sleeps. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Excuse the squeak chair. Squeak chair of doom. Right. So we've got the windmill bearing down here. A nice little andesite casing. I've got my glue ready. So we're going to glue that to that. And that to that. And hopefully... Did that work? No, that, that's probably better. Right. That was a lot of glue. It's fine. And then when we move that, yes, the whole thing moves with it. Perfect. Perfect. So then all we need to do is... 
mechanical harvesters. Hopefully, those are stuck already and I don't have to actually update and stick it. Yes, perfect. A sim, a sim. So all we need then is a box. Box. And a portable thingy me bib. There. I don't know if we need to restick it because it's inside the sticky thing, so let's just update the. And we have a quick, dirty, cheapy mechanical harvester. That should work. So all I need to do then is plant a bunch of crops around here and just leave it to keep going, basically. Because yeah, that should just collect stuff for us. Ah Beautiful. So now my crops can move over here. And it even has the option of extending if I really, really fancy it. Although if I want to have it collecting the sugarcane at the same time, I'm going to need, I think, to attach a saw onto it, because I don't think a sugarcane gets collected with this guy. Yeah. And we'll pop a, a little receiver side over here, probably, so that it can kissy-kissy. So, like, uh, wrong way around. There. I think you can do it two apart. And if you can, that's fine. I don't know if we need to attach the box to the contraption though. I think we need to actually have it come off like onto a, a dropper thingy then into here. So if I apparently don't break a... there. So then if I pop a chest like here and a shoot here and then have a, a funnel thingy here, it'll just shovel it and funnel it into here and then eventually just connect that up to my base up there. That should be a slightly, slightly better farm than the one that I've got currently, which is annoying to harvest. Perfect. Alright, let me fill in the plants and come back to you. We'll see if we can make another thingy, maybe one there, maybe one there. And it does, it looks like it does the kissy kissy without me having to worry about it, so yeah, let's give it a go. Eight beans, right. Little update for you. There is the farm that we got set up yesterday. Uh, so we showed you just uh, how to how to make a little windmill thingy with the auto harvesters. Um, we've planted all of the regular crops there, apart from the rice. The rice, I think I might have to make another small thing over here or extend this guy so that I could get the rice crops on it as well. It doesn't. I thought the rice crop get caught got cut with the uh, the sauce. It doesn't. Um, it is the harvesters, so I might have to just jig this a little bit or make a little thing here. I don't know. Either way. Uh, so we made the little farm thingy there. We've now got a little tree farm thingy there. It's not a complete tree farm because I haven't got the dibbers at the back. So what do I mean by the dibbers? That's the hand thingy. So if I do uh, search for hand, actually, that's uh, maybe not. Let's go to create and close the book so I can see the full JEI. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Not that one. That's the hand grabby army thing. The hand dibber. I'm not sure where it is again. Yeah, what? Uh, not in there. There. That guy. Hang on. The deployer. There you go, deployer. I always forget the name of that thing. It hasn't got the deployers on the back. The deployers on the back are for replanting the trees. As you can see, there are no trees growing. When they cut down after they've grown, it doesn't automatically replant them like it does with that farm. So you do need to have some deployers on the back replanting the trees. It is, however, quite happily also chopping down some um, sugar cane. So I've got plenty of pages in my map if I just nip over here. Yeah, we've got we've got 36 maps. So if, if I quickly open up the map as well, you get a better idea of where we've camped. So we've got a huge swamp down here. More swamp, more swamp. Over here you've got a nice handy little village. I don't know if everybody's dead in there yet. The spawn point is over here somewhere, I think. Um, I still haven't linked it up. And we've got the little village over here that I got stuck in the other day and got murdered. Viciously murdered. Let me just, let me just tell you, we got viciously murdered by, uh, by, by tigers. Yeah, long story, don't ask. <laughs> But yeah, so we've got the we've got the little uh, farm down there, and we've got the little tree farm with the sugarcane crop. It you could just see right there. It's harvested. There you go. So it's all dropping off into boxes. If I quickly hop down, if if and if it is uh, it's harvesting and it's just dropping things off over here 
into this box, which is doing rather nicely actually, and the farm one is dropping off into this box via the kissy kissy. So you do have a quite a steady income of thingies. Now you'll notice there is a new contraption here, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. But I, I'm not going to talk to you about it immediately now because I wanted to also go up here really quickly and show you some of the plans. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Here's what I'm thinking. I'll explain that box in a second as well. But uh, I'm thinking this is this is my starter base. It's getting dark. Oh my god, it got dark really quick. Hang on a second. It gets dark so quick at this game. What the? What the hell? What the hell? Quick, get to sleep, Marv. There we go. Marv's online as well right now. So, uh, right there we go. Sorted. So this is my starter base up here. I was kind of thinking since this is sort of looks like a like a drilling rig or something, maybe I'm gonna have like a proper like crane and like a mine here. I feel like that would be sensible. I've moved the critters because I've now finally flattened out this area a little bit more. Just because I wanted to work with a bit more of a flatter space for the beginnings of my like Wonka slash village slash town. So you've got the layout. Uh, you might actually see it better if I go upstairs. Let's go upstairs again real quick. Hop. And like I say, I'll talk to you about that in a second. So ignore the fact that I've got a bench behind me. Um, so you've got a little house here that's clearly looking after the chickens and the sheep, which have been moved from over there, and the emus, and then you've got a little house here with some create contraption here, so I'll explain that as well. But uh, yeah, so we've got the beginnings of a layout. So we'll have like a little road coming through here, maybe follows that bit off and goes over that way. Uh, maybe comes down here and has like a little like mine thing, mine shaft here. That's the thought process right now with all the farms and stuff being over this side. I have extended the water that was previously, if I go back this side again, that there previously was water. So I've, I've literally just put some put, put some like grass blocks over the top of it. I might still mix it in a bit better with the, um, the swamp back there and the mangrove. Maybe we'll see. But uh, yeah, so we started on, we have made a start on Ars Nouveau. So this took a bit of reading. This took a little bit of reading if I if I nab this book here. So because I've never done Ars Nouveau before, so the first place to start if they give you a book with any kind of mod is to read the book. So we've had a, a quick look in here. I haven't looked at all of it as you can see by this little exclamation point, but it talks about spell casting and how you need a book for it. So I made the book here. How to make the book. Let's quickly go to Ars Nouveau. Find the book. Uh, which as you can see there's a couple of pages and a lot of glyphs to make. This may not make sense to you. You can make the book, but we started with the book, and you can make the novice spell book like so. And since we have iron, that's what I did. So we've made the book. Uh, to then do spell mana, um, you can wear stuff to increase your mana. I haven't got into that one very much either. Obtaining source gems, this is where this bit down here comes into it. So source, I think, as I understand it, is used to create new things, right? Is is used to create new glyphs and things. You need source gems. So this is what this guy is down here. This guy down here is collecting source. And it's collecting it from the nearby crops. So uh, and, and stuff. So as things grow, you'll see a little pink line go shp. Or it should do. See a little pink line go shp. And then it'll go into one of these source jars, which this one's 100% full. I don't know quite what you do with it after that point. But uh, as you can see, it's filling up this guy as well. So we're obtaining source from our little farm. It's not going to do it now that I'm still here watching, is it? Come on. There you go. Hey! Pling, pling! And it zips it off into that. Pling! See? Pling, pling! So I'm collecting source, and I've got myself up there now a, um, a table that will let me, if I come up here again, that will let me craft glyphs. So if you take your spell book and right click on here, you can actually look at what glyphs you can make. And, and basically this is like a spell book that will allow you to shoot things and whatever's. But uh, so you can you can do projectiles, uh, self and touch, and then you've got break and harm. But uh, if you want to do other stuff, you need to make the glyph and then learn the glyph. So if I wanted to do, uh, let's say this one, I'd need an iron hoe and an earth essence. Mm -hmm. So those are those two. 
So I don't know how you make the essence. That one sounds kind of handy though. I don't know how you make the earth essence, but I have got one spell in here already because you kind of come, the book kind of comes. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. I clicked on the, there. The book kind of comes already with some things. So what I've done is if you push V, you can set what spells you have in each. And I think you get nine or, or ten like a standard computer does. Um, so you can you can set different ones in here. So that's that one, that one, that one, so on and so forth. And so right now I have a spell. If I, sorry chickens, hang on. So if I shoot at a chicken, dead chicken. Yeah, all by the book. All by the book. So you know that's kind of cool and exciting. So we're 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 dipping our toes into Ars Novo. I'm not sure how we get the source out of the box because you know source jar. Uh, it's a thing. I think it just, uh, to use source in a jar, simply place the jar near your desired, desired device. So, I haven't actually got a desired device yet. But, uh, that's the, that's the link that I made. I did find two source gems from a, um, from a, what do you call it, mob in the caves, and so I just, I've used those. So, we'll see, we'll see. It's, uh, we're having a look at it. I don't know if, if how far we'll go into this, but I mean, you've got lots and lots of stuff in here. So you've got different glyph thingies, different blocks. And I think this might work quite well with what we want to do with the whole Wonka village. So it, it all a little bit spellies. And we've never done it before, so we might as well. So yeah, that is, that is the current plan. Oh, one last thing to explain before I continue and hop off. And I will take you with me again on adventure for a while, but uh, this particular house, because, you know, there's the door, there's the door. So this particular house has a machinery at the back of it. So you've seen one of these before, if you've seen my, if you've seen my little create world. But uh, it's basically, it's being powered, if I can see it there. But the mud just went away, never mind. It's being powered by a water wheel, giving you the 256 stress units. Which then is coming up into here, which has been stepped up a couple of times using cogs. So that it's going faster to power the encased fans back here. To go through water and lava. So I can bake bricks or wash gravel or sand to turn it into clay. Um, turning gravel into flint and iron nuggets. So on and so forth. And all I have to do is right here. If I take some of these guys, all I have to do is right click on the depot and it'll be in there like that so you can see it. Uh, so yeah, it's not quite a conveyor lane, but I didn't need it to be a conveyor line. I kind of, I wondered if I might and then I was like, actually, I just need it to bake and cook. I will set up another one exactly like this because I also have to put one with the fire and the blue fire, the soul flame, because... We have it in here that we can haunt things. So if I quickly have a look. So if we go to the fan. And then we're going to click U over the fan. You have the bulk washing where you can turn concrete into actual concrete. So sand into concrete. You have the cookerator one which cooks things for you. You have the um, bulk blasting which I don't even know what the... Wow. Those are pretty. Uh, let's go with this one terracotta to actual glazed terracotta so like you would cook it in any old normal thing and the bulk haunting where you can take things and haunt them into other blocks so you can turn it into blackstone you can turn a brick into another brick uh, deep slate into infested which is something that I've seen another particular hermit do where he turned normal um, stone into infested stone and then used it as an experience farm so yeah we get to we get to have a bit of fun with this one this time and see basically what happens yeah because yeah that, that could I mean that could be a way of making a little experience farm without having to go find yourself a spawner so yeah so we've got two outlines down for now two buildings that are going to happen there will be more buildings so as you walk through the village there will be more bits and pieces to go visit maybe I'll put something small here like a little stall maybe there'll be maybe the village will turn the corner here and go on this way I'm not I'm not sure yet um, but it's all going to be centred around the idea that this cave thingy here is digging up uh, candy and, and this village here is sort of inhabited by the workers and the factory because eventually we need to have a train station somewhere here 
And I kind of feel like the sen most sensible place would be over there near the portal. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. One last thing, as I promised. Um, I had a message from Sarin, a.k.a. Z, last night. And yeah. he's left me a whole bunch of copper sheets. I'm not sure what we'll use them for, but uh, you can use them in capacitors. You can use it for a display link, hose pulleys, fluid tanks, fluid pipes, more fluid pipes, and copper valves. So actually, oh, and, and making copper wire. I'm not sure what that is yet here for, but um, I'm not sure what I'll use those for. I mean, that's a lot of copper. I need to work my way to getting to bronze because bronze is needed for a lot of these things, like making the hand, the the deployer. I I need I need I need bronze basically, but uh, we'll we'll get there. We will get there. I will. I will probably take you along on building that one because that one's a little bit more um, compact and, and simple. But uh, we shall see. So that is that is the update for now. I will take you with me on my next uh, my next little adventure. It's getting dark again, so I'm going to go and sleep and see where we get to.